COVID epidemic grows every year in our area, there's a bigger demand on your tax dollars. Well, pharmaceutical companies that sell naloxone, the drug that reverses opioid overdoses, spiking the price at a dramatic rate. WSBT 22's Alex Elich has been investigating this, and Alex, cities are feeling the sting as they try to keep this drug on hand. In 2015, more people died from opioid overdoses than deaths attributed to firearms. With death tolls reaching new highs, first responders are using more of the drug to try and save lives. And pharmaceutical companies are cashing in. So how much does it cost to save a life? If you chip away the layers of paint on this mural. Can you see where the green is here and the purple? A story of a life. A brother. A dancer. A friend. Yep, they had a mural of him and a dance. Lost too soon. Jeremy Callantine died of a heroin overdose last year. You know, it's one of those things where you ever wonder if you're ever going to get past it. You, know, you wonder if your heart is ever going to feel better. It's the reason more and more emergency responders are stocking naloxone. A drug that could have saved Callantine's life. The price of it increasing at a dramatic rate. Back 2008, it we were well under $10 a dose. Um, now we're approaching $30 a dose. That's causing first responders to rearrange their budgets. We're seeing medications go up by three, four hundred percent. Obviously, that affects us dramatically. So let's break this down. According to Mishawaka EMS, they pay $27.73 per dose of naloxone. In 2016, they administered the drug 114 times, coming to a grand total of $3,161.22. Mishawaka gets their naloxone at a reduced cost from St. Joseph Health Systems. WSBT 22 asked which pharmaceutical company it gets its naloxone from and for how much it costs. St. Joseph told us, quote, Unfortunately, we are unable to share the cost at which we obtain a specific drug due to our contractual obligations. As a part of our mission to care for the community, we are able to assist community partners like EMS in accessing these reduced costs. Five pharmaceutical companies that produce naloxone have all hiked prices in recent years. Dan Big with the Chicago Recovery Alliance says the limited number of producers has kept the price high and increasing. It's certainly not what you'd expect. The free market increased availability would lead to decreased prices. Fierce Pharma, a pharmaceutical industry news site, says Amphistar Pharmaceuticals charged $41 a dose for naloxone in 2015. 14 years earlier, it was $12. That's not the only company with price hikes. Hospira sold naloxone for $22 a dose in 2014, up from $0.92 cents a dose in 2005, according to Business Insider. Hospira was bought by Pfizer, whose wholesale cost is now $15.83 per dose. Pfizer says it believes the drug is priced responsibly. The list price does not reflect the considerable discounts offered to our customers. The Pfizer Naloxone Access Program includes a donation of up to 1 million doses of naloxone over four years and $1 million in opioid overdose grants to several states. But local EMS are being forced to look at the impact prices are having overall. We're taking money away from one area that we're trying to work with and, and having to um, put it into this area. So I don't know if scared is the right word, but uh, definitely aware of it and concerned. And for the families who have lost a loved one, saving those precious seconds is something that can't put a price tag on. When somebody is ripped from your life so quickly that was so close to you, it's, it's unbelievable. Mishawaka EMS say this is an important tool in the fight against the opioid and heroin epidemic in our community. They want drug companies to find a way to make it more affordable. In the studio, I'm Alex Elich, WSBT 22 News. All right, forecast update coming.